traffic engineering and also protection or fast road are the main advantages of both MPLS and segment routing network. But both features are simpler and more understandable and more automatic in segment routing network to implement compared to MPLS network. With traffic engineering, we control the path of incoming traffic at the edge of the network, which is the topic of next videos. But with protection, if a link or node in the network fails, the traffic are rerouted to another path immediately and in less than 50 milliseconds, which is the topic of this video and also the next video. In this video, the theory of protection is, is discussed and in the next video, the implementation and troubleshooting is shown. What is protection? Which type of protection we have? Protection means fast reroute. In other words, when a link or node fails in the network, the traffic going over the link or the node are rerouted in another pass in less than 15 milliseconds. We have got three main type of protection, link protection, node protection, and SRLG protection, which we will discuss all of them in a few minutes. To understand different type of protection, I've already prepared a topology, as you can see. In this topology, the cost of all links are one, except for the links for which I have already written the value of the cost. For example, the cost between rotor R1 and R3 is 4. In our discussion, we discuss different type of protection from rotor R2 perspective and for a specific destination, rotor R6. However, this discussion applies to all nodes and all destinations in the network. As first type of protection, what is link protection? When we protect a link, IGP in segment routing pre-calculate the backup route that should be used when that link fails and install the backup route in routing table before any failure. When that link fails, backup route is already in the routing table and used immediately and in less than 50 milliseconds. In our topology, we want to protect the link between R2 and R4 and we implement the protection or link protection in rotor R2. For destination R6, the main path is R2, R4, R6 and the backup path is R2, R1, R3, R4, R6, which is the best pass with the lowest metric after the main pass or the best pass. As you can see, these backup pass exclude protected link because it assumes that the protected link is fail when the rotor want to calculate the backup pass. The backup pass is pre-calculated and installed in the routing table before any failure. When R2, R4 link fails, the backup pass is already in routing table and will be used immediately and in less than 50 milliseconds. Probably you ask yourself why we don't implement this type of protection in IP network. Because in IP network, this method may causes loop. Why? What is the difference with segment routing network? In a few minutes and at the end of this video you will get the answer of this question. What is node protection? Node protection means if neighbor router in the best pass, in other words next hop router in the best pass is failed then back hop route replaced in less than 50 milliseconds. Backup route is pre-calculated in the routing table before any failure, like link protection. To better understand, in this topology, the main path for destination R6 is R2, R4, R6. 
When we enable node protection in rotor R2, the navel rotor for destination R6 is R4. And the backup pass will be pre-calculated. Supposing rotor R4 is failed. Here, R2, R1, R3, R5, R6. And it is installed in the routing table before rotor R4 fails. But when rotor R4 fails, the backup pass will replace the main pass in less than 50 milliseconds since it is already in the routing table. Now it is the turn of SRLG. What is SRLG? SRLG stands for Shared Risk Link Group. And when we add some local links, for example, these two links, in the same SRLG group, that means they share hardware resources. And when one of these links fails, the other links in the same group also fail. So the backup pass must exclude all links in the same SRLG group. As you can see here, the backup pass is R2, R3, R4, R6, which exclude the both links in the same SRLG group when we enable SRLG protection. With SRG protection, new backup route excluding all links in SRLG is pre-calculated and is installed in the routing table before any failure. When any of the links in the same SRG fail, then backup route will replace the main pass in less than 50 milliseconds. Currently, SRLG only supports local links. That means for example, if R2, R4 and R3, R4 links are in the same SRLG, we cannot implement SRLG protection in rotor R2 because R3, R4 link is not local in rotor R2. Now the question is, can you run more than one protection in a rotor? The answer is yes, you can run more than one protection in a rotor. But notice that when more than one protection is enabled in the rotor, the link protection has always the lowest priority. Since when the next hop rotor is protected, the outgoing link is also automatically protected. But that does not mean that the node protection is always better than link protection. Since if outgoing link is failed, but the node protection backup pass is used, the backup pass may not be the best pass. For example, in this topology, both links and node protection is enabled in rotor R2. But node protection backup pass is installed in the routing table since it has higher priority. The red one is node protected backup pass and the blue one is link protected backup pass. But if the outgoing link fails and not the next hop rotor, in any way the node protected backup pass replace the main pass which is not the best choice since the link protected backup pass has lower metric. Here the red one, uh, the metric of the red one is one plus four, five, three, eight, and nine, the blue one, one, four, five, six, and seven. As you can see, the node protected backup pass is not the best choice, but it replaces the main pass when outgoing link phase, since the node protection has higher priority in compared to link protection. When both node protection and SRLG protection are enabled, then the backup pass is chosen to protect both node and SRLG. For example, here the backup pass excludes both links in the same SRLG and also the next hop rotor. But if it is not possible, to choose a pass which exclude the next hop rotor and also SRG links, then 
the one with higher priority or lower index value is installed in the routing table. Of course, the index value of SRG and node protection is configurable, which we will see in the next video. For example, in this topology, when link node and SRG protection are enabled in router R2, then as you see, the backup pass protect all of them link next hop router and also SRG links but it is not always possible sometimes it must choose one of node or SRG protection since the link protection has always the lowest priority but between node and SRG we can configure the priority or the index value and one of these two based on our index value will replace the main pass now the question is which protocol in segment routing does protection segment routing protection is implemented using TILFR protocol which stands for topology independent loop free alternate Topology independent loop free alternate, as the name suggests, it is topology independent and offers 100% protection in all topologies. And it is completely automatic and based on the concept of post convergence pass. Post convergence pass means the pass with the assumption that the link or node is failed. Based on this assumption, post-convergence pass is calculated and installed in the routing table as backup pass. For example, if we configure link protection in router R2, then for all destination, the backup pass is pre-calculated with the assumption that the link between router R2 and router R4 is failed and it is installed in the routing table. Yeah? In the link protection as you can see it is assumed that the link is failed and another best pass is choosed with this assumption and it is installed in the routing table at the same time with main pass or the best pass now the question is why IP does not use post convergence pass protection when it is so easy the answer because it may cause a loop. To better understand how this loop occurs in the same topology, but in IP network, consider the same scenario, but this time suppose this network is IP network. If we protect R2, R4 links, then for destination R6, R2, R4, R6 is the main pass, and R2, R1, R3, R4, R6 is the backup pass as we had in segment routing network and it is installed in the routing table now suppose that r2 r4 link fails then the traffic will be forwarded in the backup pass and to rotor r1 which is the next hop rotor of the backup pass the problem is that the routing table in router R1 is not still converged and from R1 perspective the best path for destination R6 is to give the traffic again to router R2 so loop will occur the traffic from R2 is forwarded to R1 and R1 gives the traffic again to R2 and now the question is how segment routing help the theory of post-convergence pass how in the segment routing network we can implement post-convergence pass protection thanks to the segment routing that can encode the, the backup pass or segments in the packet itself so when R2 R4 link fails R2 gives the packet to R1 and when R1 receives the packet from the segment encoded inside the packet it knows the packet should be forwarded to R3 not to R2 
So there will be no loop. So in the segment routing network, the backup path can be encoded in the packet itself when a link or node fails. So there will be no loop in segment routing network. Now instead, it is the question that how many segments is required to be encoded in the packet to prevent loop? According to the research done, a link protection, 100% of backup path need only two or less. In other words, zero, one, or two segments to be encoded inside the packet to prevent this loop. For example, in this scenario, only the ID of rotor R1 and rotor R3 is encoded in the segment. And when the packet is received in rotor R3 for the destination R6, it is automatically forwarded through the R4 to the R6. And there will be no loop. So just two segments is enough for this scenario to be encoded in the packet. And in the node protection, according to the research, 100% of backup paths need four or less segments to be encoded into the packet to prevent the loop. And it is interesting that in node protection, 99.72% of the backup paths use only two or less segments. So, as you have seen, fast reroute or protection in segment routing is so simple to understand and operate and completely automatic. Also, we have fast reroute in MPLS network, but it is not as simple as segment routing to configure and operate and not completely automatic. We implement and troubleshoot the same topology in the next video.